By adding navigation buttons, you can navigate to another sheet in your current book, a sheet in another book, or to a defined URL. In this video, we'll go through the steps for adding a navigation button to your sheet. First, I'll enter edit mode by clicking the pencil icon. I'll now be able to click the button icon located in the dashboard. We can see that a new navigation button has been inserted at the top of the sheet and is selected as the active object. I want to change some of the navigation button's properties, so with the button still selected as the active object, I'll click the properties icon. And then I'll click general style. General style allows you to change properties such as fill color, border color, and opacity. I'll make my button orange. Next, I'll go back to the properties menu and click text properties. From here, you can change the look and feel of your button text. I'll go back to the properties menu again and select navigation target. Navigation target allows you to define the target location for your button. You can use a navigation button to open a sheet in the current book, a sheet in another book, or a URL that you define. To open a sheet in the current book, click Sheet in this book, and then pick a sheet from the list. To open a URL, click Hyperlink, and then enter the full URL. In this example, we'll open a sheet in another book, so I'll click Other Book or View. I'll then click on the ellipsis icon to define which sheet I want the navigation button to open. So the sheet that I want to open is in the ID folder and in the calculation book. I'll click the sheet that I want the button to open and then click select. There's also an option to pass on contacts information from the current sheet to the target sheet. If you choose this option, when the target sheet is opened, it is updated to display the context of the current sheet. Finally, I'm going to go back to the button properties one more time and click button text. And this is where you can rename your buttons. I'm going to call this one calculation sheet. I'll close the properties menu by clicking the properties icon. Then I'll click save. To test the navigation target, I'll click the navigation button and then click the navigate to target icon. This option, which is only available while in edit mode, is useful to help you validate that the button is opening the correct target. When the sheet is opened in consumer mode, you just need to click the navigation button to open the target. For more information on Planning Analytics Workspace and navigation buttons, see the Planning Analytics Workspace Knowledge Center.